You must be the change you wish to see sideways. So that's now in your future energy. You could be going through a change or a transformation. <clears throat> you could be changing shit in your life. You could be becoming the change that you want to see. This may be shocking or surprising because something is going left for someone. Something is going sideways. Uh, because you could have a group of people here, many coming together, working with you. And this may have been unexpected. Someone may have been working really hard to stop people from working with you or stop some sort of change from happening because it will benefit them in some sort of way. <clears throat> but you just won't stop. A rolling stone gathers no much. You just won't quit. You're determined. You're focused. I could agree with you, but we'd both be wrong. You refuse to see something someone's way because they're just wrong. And they're refusing to see it your way. Um, they're refusing to acknowledge some sort of change, maybe that you've gone through some sort of transformation or that your life is changing for the better. And someone could be shocked to see this happening or they didn't want to see this happening. You're the bee's knees. You're the shit. People could be looking up to you, admiring you, admiring what you do. Or just who you are. Maybe you're just a good person. Especially if you're in the upright, obviously. I will not be intimidated. So someone could have been trying to use intimidation tactics on you and you refuse to be intimidated. I wish I knew how to quit you and someone just wouldn't quit. Someone would not stop trying to intimidate you. <clears throat> they could have been trying to use fear tactics um, against you or with other people so that other people would not work with you. But you still leveled up somehow. You still did... The impossible. This was very shocking. I'm just a girl standing in front of a boy asking him to love her. So someone could have gotten rejected. So they could have been obsessed with causing you problems because you rejected them. You quit them. Um, so they could have resorted to intimidation tactics. To make your life a living hell why so serious someone didn't think that something was serious or maybe you weren't serious about them or they weren't serious about you and maybe that's why you chose to move on or walk away <clears throat> they didn't want to go through a rebirth they didn't want to change they didn't want you to change they didn't want your circumstances to change they don't want you to remember that they refuse to change or that they're immature or that they had a hand in doing something or trying to stop you from going through a rebirth. They could have been trying to alter your memories or trying to say that you're not remembering something correctly. So somebody could be really big on trying to gaslight you, trying to say that you're not remembering something right. Uh, but it could be them who refuses to change or remember something correctly. Perception is reality, but something is a trick. They're trying to trick you. Something is a trick. They're trying to use your own mind to trick you. They're trying to make you think that your mind is playing tricks on you. Oh, there could be a lack of communication or you're refusing to communicate with this person because you know they're in their trickster energy. You're being patient because you have wisdom. Wisdom of the ages here. You are patiently waiting. You could be a seer. You could know how something is going to turn out or something is going in your favor here <clears throat> because you're being guided and you're listening to your intuition. And so you're just being patient. You're patiently waiting, which is what you need to do. You're waiting on divine timing because you have that wisdom. And it's going to benefit you greatly or it is benefiting you greatly. I'm sorry if you can hear my dog playing with his bone in the background. <clears throat> someone that you were in a relationship with this could be somebody from the past oh, there's someone that tried to flip over but they didn't flip over all the way one more shuffle anything else all right moving on let's So you've been planting seeds, okay? So something is going to grow for you or is growing. The seeds you've planted, you've been working really hard to make some sort of life-altering change happen. You could have been stuck or stagnant. You could have been tired of where you were, something not changing. 
you could have been growing something. Someone could be watching you on the computer or there could be something significant about computers, technology. Uh, maybe you started to grow something, started a business. Catching a ball, ink saddle. So someone could be playing games with you or trying to play games with you. Like if you started something um, on the computer or the internet or someone could be watching you trying to play games with you on the internet. Um, this could be like a troll or a catfish. Somebody thinks something is funny to keep you distracted, to keep you preoccupied. They think that they're distracting you. They think that you don't know what they're doing or see what they're doing. But like I said, you could be a seer. You could have seen something or known something was going to happen before it did. You could have even spoken out about this. When you're ordering a pizza and your broke friend screams, get wings too. Someone could have thought you were broke or wanted you to be broke. Someone else could be broke. <clears throat> when your mom tries to be your friend after yelling at you for not taking out the hamburger patties out of the freezer, like she said. So... Maybe you had a mother figure, or you could be a mother figure who wanted you to be broke, or you could have been in poverty because of something a mother figure did. Or like I said, you could be the mother figure and someone wanted you to be broke or tried to keep you broke. When you finally get home, it could be ugly and peace. So someone didn't want you to have peace or have rest or have a place to stay, a home. So this could have been a mother figure, a parental figure that was doing this, working with your ex to do this to you, or this was being done to you. When you show up on a blind date and they're wearing a fedora. Someone could be trying to get a date with you. This could be someone from your past coming back trying to date you, ask you out, but you have them blocked. You're not communicating with them. <clears throat> when you peel a banana and there's a bruise on it. So somebody hurt you. They bruised you. And they could have used your family and connected to your family to do this. They could have connected with your mother to cause you some sort of harm, some sort of pain to hurt you, to put you in poverty, to affect your finances because they wanted you stuck and stagnant. And they're playing games with you or maybe they think that you're playing games and you're not serious. Maybe they think you're just doing something for attention on the internet, but that's not true. You could be the real deal. You could have real gifts, talents, spiritual connections, and this person doesn't understand it or they refuse to understand it or they just refuse to accept it. That you're not doing something for attention, something is not fake, that you are the real deal. This person's a liar. They were not compassionate towards you. <clears throat> Once again, they could have worked with a mother figure, so this liar um, could have said you were a bad parent as well. They could have said you didn't know how to take care of yourself or your children. Your own mother could have been a part of this. Like I said, there's something strong. This person was using your family in some way, shape, or form. This person could be a dark practitioner or someone who's in the reverse, high priestess in the reverse. They could have also wanted you left out in the cold if you're a high priestess in the upright. They could have wanted you left out in the cold by saying you're a bad mother, bad parent. So that's something they could have done to you in the past. <clears throat> But a decision has been made that your hard work is paying off, that you're busting your ass, that you're not a slacker, that you do take care of your kids, you take care of your house, you do what is necessary. No matter what, what it costs, what it takes, no matter how tired you are, you keep going, you keep persevering through something. And that was the change that somebody didn't want to see happen because their lies are bullshit. <clears throat> There's a group of people here meeting, talking. There's a lot of talk going on and a decision being made. Someone was in despair that they didn't, they couldn't stop you with some sort of message, with some sort of lie. <clears throat> so they were in despair. This King of Swords was in despair because no one's believing their lies anymore. And you could be receiving some sort of communication from a family, a group of people. Um, there's somebody here who's talking. There's a group of people here who's talking, gossiping trying to figure out something they made a decision and there's going to be some sort of communication they're going to communicate possibly tell you some sort of truth <clears throat> maybe that this person was fishing for information that they were coming around telling some sort of lies maybe that they believed some sort of gossip or rumors about you in the past and maybe that's why they didn't help you or they turned their back on you you may have a decision to make regarding an emotional situation so this person, someone may want to come toward you or a group of people may want to come toward you and tell you the truth about working with this person and it could even be your own family. 
So your own family members can maybe be telling you the truth and made a decision that you, <clears throat> even if they don't agree with how you're doing things or the path that you've chosen to take, if they're religious and you're not, um, you know, um, they could be seeing that maybe you are authentic, that you are real and, you know, God still loves you even if you chose a different path than what they wanted for you. This person that was in despair or wanted to cause you to be in despair was not bringing you the offer that you've been waiting for. <clears throat> they could have done something impatiently. They couldn't rest. They couldn't relax until like, it's like they wouldn't stop lying on you. They were trying to make themselves look good and cause heavy burdens for you so that you couldn't move on, travel or move forward with life. It's like this person just wanted to keep putting more and more burdens on you. <clears throat> So that you would not get the offer that you've been waiting for. This could be in love or with your children, with your family, just with life. And this person brought judgment upon themselves because of the heavy burdens that they placed on a divine feminine masculine here. Yeah, if they were trying to steal a treasure or something that you held valuable. This could be your children. It could be something of monetary value. It could be something physical. Whatever the case, this person was causing heavy burdens on you to stop you from getting some sort of treasure. And that could even just be your peace of mind. But you're manifesting. And there's a group of people here that could be working together to help you out and support you after getting enlightened to some sort of truth. There's a communication. You could have told the truth or they're receiving some sort of information. They're getting enlightened, awakened to the truth about shit. They're starting to see you for who you really are and that things happen for you. You know, all things work together for the good of those who are called according to his purpose. If you want to get biblical, if not, whatever, it still is going to work out for you. <clears throat> Even though these people um, or a couple people here were working together to cause you some sort of harm by telling lies and spreading shit about you to cause financial imbalances, people are starting to see the truth. The truth is finally coming out about this about what these people did to you or this person once again eight of wands group community there's people here working together and this may be unexpected maybe because you've been doing stuff on your own for so long that you may not have expected some sort of group support community support family support now all of a sudden people want to help you out or be there for you be careful because someone is <clears throat> like your ex could be coming back because something didn't go their way. People didn't believe their lies. And if you're doing well for yourself now, this person could be trying to come back so that they can say that they helped you in some sort of way or that you couldn't do this without them. So just be careful about that, especially if this is anyone from your past coming back or that you have a child with. Um, this is somebody who wants something from you. And they really love attention. And there's a queen of wands here. Someone who is possibly abusing their power in a position of leadership who didn't deserve to be there. Or someone who was in their hoe energy. You could be traveling or moving. And this person could have stopped you. Tried to stop you from traveling or moving. They could have said that you were a hoe. <clears throat> that you were too busy being a hoe to be a good parent. They wanted you out of your life's calling. Someone could have lost their job. So someone in a, a position that they didn't deserve to be in any way, could have lost their job. Someone could blame you for it. They weren't in their life's calling anyway. This King of Swords could have, chose, um, could have chosen a, a Queen of Wands who wanted to be you or copy you or imitate you, but they weren't in their life's calling. They weren't doing the work they were supposed to be doing. They were just trying to compete with you in some sort of way. You have a victory when it comes to moving and being set free from a negative situation. There's a jealous ass female who <clears throat> wanted to cause you harm or got injured or is trying to cause injury to you because they lost their job. So someone could have blamed you for losing their job of feminine energy and that could even be your own mother, family member, relative, someone close to you. Someone was blaming you for them losing something and being injured in some sort of way. And... Um, you're still moving forward. You still have a victory and you're still being set free from whatever situation this is. You may have had to distance yourself from your family and you may have cut ties with them because of this situation, because your mother figure was working with your ex to cause you some sort of harm. You could have even been a queen of wands in the upright and someone could have cost you your job to hurt you, to cause you injury, but you're still moving forward. And a decision was made about who caused this injury to you. 
the eight of wands here is some sort of swift action there's going to be some sort of swift communication you're going to receive a message quickly about some sort of victory or this group of people they're getting some sort of message it could even be your family or your ex these people are getting the message that's way too many cards so someone could have wanted to stop you from working It could have gotten you fired if you were in a position, a leadership position, or this is somebody who abused their power and they got upset because they got fired and they blamed you and they were just out to hurt you and that's why they could have started working with your ex. However, this resonates for you. Someone was not the star. Someone was evil. Queen of Swords. This could have been someone who married the King of Swords. Their hard work didn't pay off if they were trying to compete with you. This person could be watching you watching some sort of communication. They're watching you get this new start, a new beginning. Someone's watching you have this new start, a new beginning. Uh, the Queen of Wands. So someone's hard work. So you could have been the Queen of Wands in the upright. <clears throat> and um, that's what happened to you in the past. Someone tried to hurt you by causing you to lose your job. This Queen of Swords could be married to your ex in a relationship with them. They could be a mother figure. They could have a child with your ex as well. Uh, but they were trying to compete with you in some sort of way, and their hard work didn't pay off because they were trying to be you, and it just didn't work. This person is like the opposite of you. If you're in the star in the upright, this person is the star in the reverse. This person has um, darker, um, I, I don't, I'm, I'm left-handed path, you know, um, and there's nothing wrong to each their own, whatever. Do what you got to do. But this person could be into like the darker side um, of doing magic and stuff like that. And they could have been trying to cause some sort of pain, burdens. They could have been doing some sort of magic work on you <clears throat> to cause some heavy burdens. Especially if you're a spiritualist. This person is trying to attack you where it hurts the most when it comes to what you believe in. Your spirituality um, or religion, whatever the case uh, but this person was doing something they didn't think that anyone would see them or that they would get caught. But they're watching you and they're finding out that this did not work. That you're still persevering. That you're still moving forward. They could be trying to get some sort of raid or drug bust. The police, some sort of officials um, could be coming in to bust somebody. Someone has no shame. They're unapologetic. We all have baggage. Find someone to love you. I don't. So this could be somebody that um, <clears throat> you ghosted that you didn't want to be in a relationship with that could be trying to cause problems for you. They could be saying that you sell drugs or something like that. They could be trying to get you falsely arrested. Or it's this person who's going to get raided because they could be being watched and spied on. Your instincts were on point. Someone didn't listen to their instincts. They didn't follow their instincts when they tried to do something really shady and they're not sorry about what they're doing. My wife and I are very happy. So someone is pretending like they have a happy marriage or maybe they are happily married, but I feel like there's some sort of conflict and it has to do with you. If you're a divine femme or masculine, whatever the case is, there's some sort of conflict within a marriage. Find someone to love you. I don't. My wife and I are very happy. So... They could portray to the rest of the world that they have a happy marriage. But someone in that marriage, um, it's like unrequited love. Someone could have married someone and they, did, they didn't really love them. Someone could be suffering bad health. So some sort of spell work that was done um, could have backfired if they were doing some sort of health. Um, death spells, beauty magic, whatever the case. Someone could be in bad health because if something was returned to them. They did not listen to their instincts. They sent something to someone who was undeserving. You know, um, you know, just because you don't like someone doesn't give you the right to do some sort of spell work. You better follow the rules if you're into that shit. You better know what you're doing because that shit's going to come back to you. Um, so someone's marriage could be suffering here because someone really doesn't love them. They could have just married them for money or for attention or out of jealousy just so that person wouldn't come towards you. So your ex wouldn't come back to you or something like that. But someone has no shame when it comes to this. They could even be doing love spells on um, their spouse to keep them from coming back towards you. And something could be backfiring, especially when it comes to someone's health. There's someone here that really doesn't know someone. The whopping package energy. So someone could have married a player, someone who was in their, you know, hoe energy. 
Um, you know, like I said, it could have been a queen of wands and the reverse, someone who was in their whole energy. Or this could be a masculine who thinks that they can get what they want um, using their sexuality. Someone was crazy. I know how to use crazy. So someone could have tried to say you were crazy or they didn't realize that they married someone who was crazy or unstable. I only want you. This person's thinking about you. They want you. <clears throat> this person has different religious beliefs or this person who's doing the spell work has similar religious beliefs. But like I said, they could be on the other side of the spectrum when it comes to this. And they could have done something within the last two to four weeks because they were afraid this person, your ex, could be coming back towards you. So they're trying to sabotage you. They want you to be lonely. This person was not divine. They were very evil. And they're being controlled by spirits. And they're lying about you. Someone lied about you. Someone needed to proceed with caution. Someone needs to proceed with caution. Do not test the water with both feet. Someone needed to tread lightly or tread carefully before they took some sort of action. <clears throat> Especially if it was some sort of spell, hex, or curse, or something like that. Someone really needed to proceed with caution when it came to this. Someone is intentionally trying to cause an injustice for you out of jealousy. So this could be like, you know, the, the feminine that your ex, if you're a woman, if you're a feminine, um, your ex could have married another feminine and this person is very jealous of you. They're trying to cause an injustice for you. They're acting childish. I thought this was high school. They're trying to compete with you. This is like mean girl shit. Like this is someone who is trying to sabotage you intentionally <clears throat> and then act like they're not doing anything, but that's because they're jealous of you and they're trying to compete with you. So they could have even been trying to do the same sort of work that you do, whether it's spiritual or an actual career. This person thinks that by doing this and competing with you, that this the person they're married to will love them more or something like that. But that's not the case here. Um, someone's spell work is backfiring in a bad way and it's going to affect their health or it already has started to. <clears throat> You may know how to protect yourself spiritually. Let's see. So someone turned their back on someone else here. A group of people, religious organization, cult. There could be a group of people here. This organization could have turned their back on someone after realizing what they were doing. They no longer support this person. They could be supporting you. <clears throat> because they could have said that you were a hoe or they could have found out that this person was a hoe or a prostitute and they were lying and projecting that shit onto you. You could have had a whole religious group or organization turn their back on you if this king of swords and this queen of swords were saying this about you. You could have had people turning their back on you because they were saying that you were a hoe, that you were selling your body and that's how you made your money. But someone is keeping something hidden within a group. They don't want people to know who they really are within a group. And that is that they're into some sort of same-sex relationship. So this person may pretend to have like some sort of religion. Or maybe it, when you were together, you practiced the same sort of religion. <clears throat> but this person is secretly hiding the fact that they're in a same-sex relationship. And they use emotionally manipulative tactics to get what they want. The cycle is broken. Something is over. Someone could be splitting up with someone of the same sex to try to come towards you. They want to sleep with you. They could say that they're no longer into that. Maybe you know about this or maybe you don't. But something is broken because someone wants to sleep with somebody else. But they're in a same sex situation here. So someone could be on the down low or something like that. But they want to sleep with you. <clears throat> So maybe they didn't come out and admit this to you. Maybe you thought that they were with a feminine. They could have even remarried, okay? They could still be with another feminine, so they could be bisexual. But they're in a same-sex relationship here, and they could come to you and try to emotion emotionally manipulate you by saying, oh, well, I'm not seeing that female anymore. We're getting divorced, whatever. But they're still possibly, this is in the upright, so they could still be dealing with someone of the same sex. They're just trying to sleep with you and use their sex energy they're trying to connect back to you using intimacy. Um, 
You know, they, they could be missing your sex or something like that. This was someone, you know, they're saying that they broke up with someone, that they're no longer with someone, or this is someone that you broke up with. So they could be saying that they're not with another female. You may have thought that they were just sleeping with another female, but they they had a side gig with a masculine as well. So this King of Swords is sleeping with another masculine. Whether it was just a fling or it could be a whole nother relationship that they were having behind the scenes. But they didn't want this religious group or organization to find out about what they were doing. So they were trying to um, uh, project th this shit onto you as if like you were a prostitute, you were sleeping around, but you could just be at home minding your own business. Feminine. Empress energy, feminine energy, came out sideways. <clears throat> they didn't want you to be alone. Like, you could have been spending time alone. After you separated from this person, maybe you decided to stay single. Um, but that's not what they were telling people. Maybe they said after you split up, you went crazy and you started sleeping with all kinds of people. But you're in a new cycle. You could be setting records. Someone's getting ghosted and they're getting burned by a deal. So... This masculine could be ghosting whoever they chose over you or whoever they were sleeping with or whoever they married, something like that. Um, someone could also be getting burned because you ghosted them and you refuse to speak to them so they can't get back in your energy or hurt you or take something from you anymore. So this is a feminine energy who either ghosted someone or got ghosted and someone's getting burned by a bad business deal or you know whatever deal they made to hurt someone. Someone you could have ghosted someone because you know that they're trying to hurt you and you decided to stay alone in isolation. Yeah, so you rejected someone, Empress. You rejected this person coming back to you because you know they're just trying to hurt you and they're dealing with someone of the same sex, they're bisexual, whatever. You know they lied about you. So you chose to remain in hermit mode and solitude. There was definitely two men here. They could have said that they were friends. So that's why you chose to be alone, stay isolated, because they refused to acknowledge the truth. They lied about that, too. <clears throat> they don't want anyone to find out that they were in a same-sex relationship, even though they were dealing with you and other women. Yeah, there's a masculine here. A group of people are turning their backs on this person because they could be finding out that this masculine was sleeping with another man. Uh, and they were trying to keep people from seeing through the illusion. So there was a group of people here who didn't see through the illusion. At first, they didn't see what this masculine was doing. But this masculine is getting burned because you're choosing to ghost them, Divine Femme. And now this person is swimming in quicksand, this emperor in the reverse, because they refuse to go through a change or transformation, and they're bisexual. And if you end up in a relationship with them... This is like a strings attached thing. They're just trying to attach some sort of strings or cords to you. They're trying to stay attached to you and your energy. Maybe they're in bad health and you have very healing energy. This is somebody that you were in a relationship with. And once again, they could be saying, um, you know, that they weren't even dealing with a masculine, but they refused to change or go through a transformation. That, that could be why you ghosted them and left them alone because they're still acting immature and childish and they need to grow up. <clears throat> and they could have also used your children against you. Like they said, you were a bad mother, whatever the case, because you were out sleeping with God knows who. Yeah, they experience, they're, they have some bad luck coming to them. Luck of the Irish in the reverse and go for broke. So they have some bad luck coming towards them because of the decision they made when they were faced with the Wheel of Fortune. They made a bad decision. They haven't got a clue. Now they could be penny pinching. A penny saved is a penny earned. And so now they're coming towards you and they're acting as if they're passionate towards you, that they still have this flame for you, that they still love you, that they never stop loving you. This person's full of shit. They're lying. They're not telling the truth. They did something impatiently, dark before the dawn. They're not coming out of a dark place because they did something impatiently. Um, first of all, they lied. And second of all, they're doing the same shit they used to do. Like, it's the bare minimum. It's like the page of cups. It's like they don't give you what you deserve. And they think that you're still on that level and you've already ascended. 
and changed and now they can't come back in your energy a b c or d could be significant in the springtime a scorpio and a pisces U, V, W, X, Y, and Z is in hot water in July. So they could have been dealing with someone, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, or that could be their initials. <clears throat> it could be a Pisces. Someone's in hot water. Someone could have lost their job because of what they were doing, and some somebody could be finding out about this. Lick your wounds. Beggars can't be choosers and air your dirty laundry. You healed. You're healing. Someone wanted you to be begging. Now that person's going to be begging. Now they're going to have to lick their wounds because some sort of secret's being exposed or your dirty laundry. So whatever secret they were trying to keep from being exposed, it's being exposed anyway. So someone could lose their job, whether it's a man or woman, masculine or feminine, it doesn't matter. Someone could be losing their job because of some sort of secret being exposed about what they did. Whether it was just shady, unethical, or illegal, someone lost control. Take the tiger by its tail. Someone lost control of a situation. <clears throat> and like I said, someone could have been uh, blaming you for them losing their job, but it's their own shit. They shouldn't have been doing something. Whatever it is that they did that cost them their job, they shouldn't have been doing it. <clears throat> This could have even been a jealous ass coworker that wanted your man or some shit like that. Slept with somebody that you were sleeping with, but maybe they didn't know that this person was in the same sexual relationship too. They didn't have a victory. Something is being balanced out. Libra energy. Friday could be significant. Someone could be getting arrested on Friday. The cycle's over. Broken record. You're the boss. You're like the king or queen of wands in the upright. It could also be a king or queen of wands being arrested and a cycle being broken. King or Queen of Wands in the reverse because yours peers driven snow. So you're the real deal, Aries. Someone could be Pisces, Aries, Cusper. Um, you're going to get your happily ever after because you chose to avoid someone like the plank. Thick as thieves because you know these people were working together and you've been avoiding them. You chose to stay away from your, these people and distance yourself from these people, whether they were your friends, family, coworkers, whatever their situation. You decided to stay away from these people because you knew they were trying to steal something from you. And I thought I saw Sagittarius try to come out. <clears throat> they thought something would be like stealing candy from a baby, but these thieves are as white as sheep, especially this third party. Someone thought they had control over a third party situation under his or her thumb, but there's a third party here someone lost control over. This third party. So this King of Swords energy could have cheated on you uh, with this queen of wands energy whatever and then married them and this third party thought they had someone under their control but it's the opposite like this masculine is actually controlling them this person really doesn't miss you whoever this is they just need you for something they want to take something from you or take some sort of treasure from you um, this could be the person who put you in a third party situation or a third party could have gotten ghosted as well there's not a happy marriage, and Aquarius is not missing you. A Sagittarius in March with a Scorpio. Something was too good to be true or was not too good to be true when it came to you. They could be missing you after choosing, after you've avoided them and they chose a third party. Because that someone could be a Pisces, Aries, Cusper, and then you have Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Scorpio. So there's a lot of players in this. Um... <clears throat> This includes, this could, one of these signs could be yours, one could be your ex, one could be a family member, and then a third party, um, and then one of them could be uh, the person of the same sex that they were dealing with as well. Now someone's back is up against the wall because they thought something would be as easy as one, two, three, and that's not the case. trying to get you to live under the same roof as them or move in with them <clears throat> so that they can control you or take something from you. I'm going to hit up these real quick before I close this out.
Someone can't relax. Someone isn't chill. This dark person, they can't relax. They're not calm. There's a masculine energy here that was trying to keep some sort of secret. So they're losing their cool. They're losing. They can't relax because they're afraid of the secret being exposed. They were trying to keep it under wraps. They were hiding who they really are. They, they really wanted to keep this secret hidden about the darker side of what they're into. They really don't want people to know that they are that they're bisexual. They really don't want this. Like I feel like that's like the main secret that they don't want revealed on top of what other crazy shit they were doing to you. <clears throat> but the reason they lied and went so hard against you is because you rejected them because you could have saw through them. But they really don't want this secret going coming out. But this religious group or organization could turn their back on this person because the secret is going to be revealed or someone could be speaking out. <clears throat> There's something significant about a home. There could be a couple here who's watching a home. This masculine could have had a couple watch a home. There's something being illuminated about a home and what this masculine was doing, possibly to keep you homeless. Cost, um, they could have costed you to lose your job. Um... <clears throat> But there's something being illuminated about a housing situation. Someone tried to end you, Empress. Someone tried to send some sort of spirit or this mother figure, this feminine energy, tried to send some sort of death spell to you. She wanted you to unalive yourself. There's that permanent ending, the snake here. There's the feminine energy in the reverse and someone was being possessed. So this person could be being controlled by spirits and they could have sent some sort of death spell to you or tried to send some spirit or entity to you to cause you to unalive yourself. And that could be why they're in bad health. You're innocent. <clears throat> they wanted you to get kicked out of a house. So they, they also wanted you to have a permanent ending when it came to your housing situation. So someone was very dark, they could have been pissed off, and they wanted a permanent ending for you, so they didn't want you to have a house, a job, or a relationship. So that's that high priestess and the reverse energy. They're trying to keep you trapped and stuck, and there's someone here who's scared, and there's a masculine energy here who's confused. So there's someone, this masculine is scared because they can't keep you trapped. You're being set free. Like you're escaping whatever traps they had set for you. And there's a masculine here who's scared and confused. It could also be this feminine here, but there's, you know, there's someone here who's scared and confused. And there's a masculine here who's like, what the fuck? It's like they're terrified or something. They could be confused why something didn't work, how you're not homeless, why you're not out on the street. They're trying to figure out something about you. <clears throat> why tip someone for a job I'm capable of doing myself? I can deliver food, I can drive a taxi, I can do and cut my own hair, I can tip. I did, however, tip my urologist because I'm unable to pulverize my own kidney stones. So you could be a jack of all trades. You can do stuff on your own and these people can't. They could be codependent. There's someone here who underestimated you. They were sitting back smug, trying to look innocent, but they were not innocent. <clears throat> when I die, I want to be frozen, and if they have to freeze me a piece of so be it. So you cut ties with this person because you knew that they were not innocent. They want other people to believe they're innocent, to think that they're innocent, that they're the victim. This person is very cold-hearted, king, king or queen of swords here. Someone's an ice king or queen. This person was watching you on the internet or doing something online. You could have cut ties with them and they're watching you, stalking you. They could be watching your social media or something on the internet. They could have also, they could have also tried to contact you on the internet or through social media. You're just living your life. You could be excited and someone just just is sitting there. Um, you know, it belonged to my grandfather. He was buried in a family heirloom. Like someone has to accept that you received something. This could be an inheritance or something that was left to you when a family member died. 
maybe you're excited to get some sort of money and you are able to take a breath, relax. Maybe that's why you're not homeless or something like that. You could have received something and someone just has to kind of admit defeat. Yeah, feminine here. You're just doing your job. You're just handling your business. You know, I really would have appreciated a heads up that you were into dating mothers. I would have introduced you to mine. So this could have been a mother or a grandfather, grandparent um, that was working against you that passed away and left you some sort of money. And you're just doing your job, handling your business, taking care of your kids, your family. <clears throat> and someone was saying you were out hooking and getting money this way, that way, whatever. Uh, but the divine, you know, God, Holy Spirit, whatever, um, you know, you subscribe to. Someone stepped in. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, they saved your ass in the, in the nick of time, just like you knew they would. You saw something was going to happen before it happened, and you knew it. Like, you were expecting it. <clears throat> you had to solely rely on God. Like, it was just you and God against the whole world, because you had all these people working against you, and you still made something happen. Good for you. Good for you. Faith can move mountains. Someone is very jealous of you because you're celebrating dancing through Sunday and you're keeping things a secret or someone is just being secretly jealous of you. And there's a great divide. So there's a divide between you and someone who is secretly jealous of you and you're celebrating. <clears throat> yeah, someone's at a distance from you. There's a divide. Someone created such a divide between you and them because of their lies. They could be drinking heavily, 40 ounces to freedom. Someone's at a distance drinking, trying to drink you off their mind. Whiskey lullaby. Um, just came to mind that song, Whiskey Lullaby. Someone's asking themselves why you chose to move towards destiny. They were just trying to get some, and now they're left looking tragic. So someone only cared about sex, and they're left looking tragic, and now they want you to save them. State of my head. Now they're all up in their head. They can't get out of their head. They can't get out of their feelings and emotions. They need you to reach out to them, these, these beautiful thieves. <clears throat> Wonder Boy. They want you to look at them like a superhero, or they want to say that you couldn't do this without them because they told so many lies about you and said all this crazy shit about you that they need to get back in your energy and you're still alive. It's a wonder that you're still alive and you'll be in my dreams today. This person cannot stop dreaming about you, driving by your house, drive through, but life goes on and people see you as larger than life and they're doing a love spell. Someone's doing a love spell on you, but you're cold one. You're cold as ice to this person. Welcome to the family. <clears throat> your family could be trying to get back in your good graces after siding with this person because no one else comes close to you and you, you're in a new cycle, new song. And there's rumors going around about you, about your resurrection, about you coming back from the dead. Um, that could be literally, physically, you know, if you were down and out, you're the phoenix, you rose up. You give people hope. <clears throat> You took a chance. Take a chance on me and the winner takes it all. So you took a chance and it paid off. You're springing forward. You're moving forward. Curtains up. Big reveal. You're already gone. The, the old shit's done and over with. Stupid girl, you're, you left the stupid shit behind. The stupid boy or girl's trying to call you, but you're unemotional like toy soldiers because you have a funny feeling you know what they're up to. You know that they can't... They can't give you what you need or what you want. They're still on that old bullshit. You could be remembering why you left this person alone in the first place, remembering what they did to you, but they don't want you to remember that. They don't they don't want you to think you're remembering shit clearly. But it's not enough. They can't give you enough. They they will never be able to because they refuse to heal. <clears throat> I hope this helped bring some sort of clarity to your situation. Let's pull a few letters here, person, place, or thing to be significant. And V <clears throat> Nevada could be significant. Never again is what I heard. <clears throat> P This one's broken, but it's a K. I A. 
another K. <clears throat> another B, and then R. An aardvark could be significant. Maybe someone's like favorite animal, an aardvark. That's kind of weird. All right, I'll do one more. And F. <clears throat> N-V-P-K-I-A-B-R-K-F. I hope this helps. Have a good day.